Wow, this topic is, is complicated. It sure is. We're going to talk about babies. Okay, we can talk and about And everyone, babies. you know, you, the concept, you think about having a first child, everyone's super happy, happiest memory to date. Well, that is not always the case according to the latest research. Most people assume that having children will make them happier. But a new study from Europe has found a significant drop in happiness among parents after the birth of their first child compared to their peers without kids. The results further concluded that older parents and those with higher education were most depressed. So while those firstborns may provide unrivaled moments of joy, they can also provide unrivaled moments of frustration and anxiety. So is choosing to have a child a step toward becoming unhappy? at least for a little while. This is obviously controversial. Yeah. No one wants to acknowledge that having kids might decrease temporarily your happiness. Say, say studies do show that, that every time you add a child to the family, you have a higher uh, risk for divorce. So it's, it's a challenge. And I think what happens is people don't get prepared for it. The preparation is mom is going to take a lot of attention from dad, a huge amount of attention. And if she doesn't overcompensate for that and if he doesn't understand that, oh, it gets to be, be it, yeah. And then there's the sleeping patterns are totally different. Everything is different. Well, it's a lot of people, we know this, you have a child to try to fix the marriage. And this, this, yeah. this research, if nothing else, shows that that's probably a flawed idea. But when you're, hopefully with your, your partner, you're in a great relationship, you're single. Or you're not single, you don't have, you don't have children, and you're whining and dining, and, you're, and your dates are fun and sexy and romantic and all that stuff. When Junior comes, all that kind of comes oh, to no a... Good kinda, that, I, I will uh, say that when I had my first, um, my son Alex, we, oh, oh, look at you. He was 10 days old in that picture. Um, I do remember being, oh, God bless you. <laughs> I do remember being aware of, you know, I had a dog who was my dog for about eight years who was, you know, I acted as if he were my biological right. child. My husband, the day I came home with Alex, I was like, get out of the way, dog and husband. <laughs> like, what, you know, like for me, I just really remember so powerfully the whole sun just rose and set around that baby. No, it's... I love you, cutie. And that I think that happens to a lot of women. I think that, obviously well, not everyone. And it should. And it should. It right. should. But that's where the compensation has to come. You know, if we don't compensate for the husband, and it's just no different than having one child and bringing another child in, then that child has to be, you know, right. worked with a little bit differently. But I'm yes, sure there's a second, I'm about... the second child. So we're, we're discussing here drop in happiness based on this research after first child in association, not a cause effect, but... In other studies, having two kids marked increased overall happiness. Because you have one kid to take care of the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, that there's, that you can put the two together and you can sneak, time it right. You know, how does that go to your you thing? Then? It, it, you know, have, if you're, getting, you're already used to a, no, a different routine now. You, you have a new lifestyle. So now you're just adding another person into the pretty much the same lifestyle. At some point, I, I hope and really believe that most parents, both moms and dads, look at those children and say, I could never imagine loving another person yeah. more than I love you. And that's a really very powerful feeling. And you it know is. what? I love that you said that. And, and Drew, I want you to take the floor here in a minute. But I think the one thing these research studies do remind us of is you can't just, like any big change in life, whether it's getting married, having kids, you can't just assume it's going to be like in Hollywood. Yeah. And so if you're mentally prepared for some of these more difficult moments, right. sleepless nights, a crying baby, if you acknowledge that those sure. moments are going to occur and not always be blissful, you're going to be better prepared. And I think if we're smarter about it, like can we bring the mom-in-law to take the baby for a Let's night or help. when you're going no, no. out, you know, can you can you babysit? No. Yeah, you have, but these are things you have no, to do. No, no, you do. You, you have to work but, out. And, and if you're not, what happens not is that you get the child. Well, maybe not the mother-in-law. <laughs> uh, somebody else, I got you on that one. Sister. Sister. But, uh, you know, you still got to have those date, -like, date nights and you have to have a babysitter. And you you got, you, I mean, it's, those things are so important. Well, it's certainly sure. very interesting. I think the uh, the takeaway is that, as you said, no greater joy than having kids, although I don't have my own.